Welcome to Tasty Tuesday, formerly known as Foodie Friday. Today we are going to make some low histamine chicken fried rice. And I'm going to start with a three pound bag of boneless skinless chicken breasts. And this will be actually divided between two meals. This is actually the second meal I am making out of this chicken. Um, but the first you will see in a couple of weeks because it will be part of a series focused on sweet potatoes. Now, I do typically buy this frozen. It's flash frozen. Um, I buy it frozen, store it frozen, and cook it from frozen. And I do cook it for 35 minutes on high pressure. And then I just pulled it out, made some regular rice with the chicken broth, and then for with the meal that we had th um, that night and then ultimately I would either make this entire dish and go ahead and put it in the freezer in individual portions or I could also um, just cut this chicken up and then freeze that for use at a later time. The goal is to have it frozen and thawed the least amount of times. <laughs> so, and not have it sitting around at room, at something other than frozen or dried. So stuff is still developing histamine in the refrigerator. So just be aware of that. So anyway, to the pot, I'm adding two cups of, of white jasmine rice. That's what we do well with. Use whatever rice you tolerate well. Um, if you do have MCAS as a root cause, I highly suggest using a white rice rather than a brown rice. Then I added one um, bag of mixed vegetables. You easily could do an equivalent amount of dehydrated or freeze-dried. Just make sure you add more water to accommodate that. And make sure you pay attention to what kind of rice you have and add the appropriate amount of water as well. I... The recipe called for a quarter cup of liquid aminos. I would actually up that to a half cup next time I make this. And then I just cubed the chicken up and used half of what the bag had made. And then I started up and I'm really questioning at this point if this is enough water. It, it wasn't. I did get a burn notice on this. <laughs> um, I should have gone ahead and added another cup. And honestly, I think that's just a difference of it's not, I, I really don't think this is jasmine rice, even though that's what I bought it as. And then I am adding garlic to this. It called for two to three cloves. And I just looked on the side of the container and added what it said would be the equivalent of that, which I believe was two teaspoons per clove. And then I'm putting the lid on and cooking it for four minutes. Because remember, everything just needs to cook the rice and everything else is already cooked. It just needs to heat up. And I was going to scramble those eggs. <laughs> um, and th that was about half done when I got the burn notice. So I opened this up kind of quick and bumped the phone. I basically just stirred it up to see how much was stuck on the bottom because that's what causes the burn notice. It was actually, the rice was already done, so I just went ahead and added the eggs, mixed it up and avoided the bottom. It worked out pretty well. And surprisingly, the kids loved it. Supper's ready.